All right, so this one we're going over the push-up. Especially for my girls out there, I know this one can be difficult for us, but there's a few keys and a few variations that you can progress with. So for the push-up, the one thing I talk about all the time is no chicken wings on me. So a lot of my girls love coming out here and going chicken wings, and instead of keeping them locked in. So the biggest key for push-ups is we want to really come in at a 45 degree angle and not at a 90 degree angle out here. So as we come down here, like both, you'll see in the progression of videos that there's a billion ways that you can kind of ease it up or make it harder. We're going to go just on our knees just to make it easier for you to understand right here. So once again, our hands are rooted in the ground. So we're not coming up on our heel or on the back part of our hand. They're rooted in the ground here. Next thing right here, she's finding that neutral. So she's not arching with her back, what arch? She's not starting here, she's finding that neutral, or arching up, she's finding that neutral right there, okay? So those are the two first foundational things. She's here, and keeping this in neutral. Next thing is she's lowering to the ground, but lower, her elbows are locked into her body, they're not coming out, and then she's gonna come up. Good. One more time, she's gonna lower down, her elbows are more at a 45 degree angle here, she's gonna come up. And what do you hear her do? She's breathing. So as she pops up, she's breathing out. Once again, that's keeping this core stable. So then we're not going loosey goosey and having our back go crazy. You'll see sometimes as people go down, they'll come down here and then arch up and then come up there. That puts a lot of stress on your back that's not needed. So remember to keep this guy straight and to not let yourself go all loosey goosey with it. So that's one of the foundations. The other variation that we can do is we can actually have you on a bench or on if you have a wall or if you have some type of elevated surface. So I'll have you take over here. So if regular push-ups are a little bit too tough for you and you want to go up more of an incline surface, this is a way to go about it. So same thing, she's keeping this guy straight. She's coming down to the bench. Good, elbows at 45, pushing back up. Good, one more time, coming down. Good, pushing back up, good. You'll see that she's not chicken winging out, she's keeping her elbows locked in, and she's allowing her body to stay in a straight line rather than start to come up and have that arch in her back. So you'll see the next, I probably have six videos of different variations that you can go about it, and then slowly progress up as you progress. And know that I could not do a push up three years ago, but as you build that strength, you're gonna be able to build that strength up to do a full push up. So swipe to see the next ones and see what suits you best.